Welcome to Silent Hill Origins. This is a prequel to the original Silent Hill, and it's also the fifth game that I've played in the Silent Hill series, which I think is important to note because I'm going to be comparing it to everything that I've experienced so far. So I've played Silent Hill 1, 3, then Shattered Memories, and then 4, and now this game. And this is actually developed by the same people, Climax Studios, who made Silent Hill Shattered Memories. But this came out earlier than that. It was released for PSP first in 2007, and then for PS2 in 2008, which is the version that I'm playing right here. And this is actually the first Silent Hill game made outside of Konami. So after 2004's Silent Hill 4 The Room, Konami completely stopped developing these games and exclusively just gave development to various other studios. I have to admit, I don't have very high hopes for this game, mostly because I've already played Shattered Memories, which came out many years after this one, again made by the same studio. So, unless they really hit it out of the park with this one and then just really sank for the next one when they made Shattered Memories, uh, it's probably not going to be great, but hopefully it'll at least be interesting. Let's begin a new game. I just passed there. That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up some bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, late on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about Luby and Batman, it's going to be you. How you don't even remember how why? Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> Huh? Hey, come back! And here we are. I love the...
Oh, fuck. It's smoke. My God. Someone's in there. Oh, okay, we're we're going in. Coming with me. Oh, wait a second. This is... I just realized what this is. I thought that the person outside maybe looked like Dahlia Gillespie. I'm pretty sure that was. Yeah, this is Alessa, isn't it? This is the immolation ritual that Dahlia did to her own daughter, Alessa. This is it. I just realized I could run. I just assumed I couldn't. <laughs> okay, let's not casually stroll out of here, let's run. Safe now. Hey, someone help her. Where is everyone? It's interesting that they tied that siren sound in with the sirens of the cars, like ambulance and cop car fire engine sirens. Taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. Looks like a pretty classic Silent Hill map. Nice. 
Okay, I am not finding the voice acting from Travis very convincing. I think it's actually really, really bad. Oh, somebody help her. So those sigils, that symbol that was appearing over the fire to stop it and make a way for us, was that Alessa doing it? It's a map of the town. I've already taken one. Oh. Okay, so it sounds like this game does the, the classic Silent Hill thing of having to find a map before you can actually see anything on the map. Which Silent Hill 4 doesn't do. Silent Hill 4, you just make the map as you go. You don't need to find anything. Well, it's nice to have a map of the town. That's like the classic map from the first one, but everything's actually readable. Because it was so blurry in the original. Is everything basically the same? Is this Midwich School down here? Wait, Riverside Hotel. Hmm. I wanted to go ahead and compare the map from the original Silent Hill to the one we just got to see if there's any noticeable differences. Because time-wise, there shouldn't be that big of a time gap between the two. This is when the immolation of Alessa just happened in this game. And then the original Silent Hill, it's seven years after. So this is seven years before the original Silent Hill, which shouldn't be enough time for any major changes to happen to the town, I would think. So this is the original map from the original Silent Hill. You can see Alcamilla Hospital circled down here. That's our goal to go check on Alessa, is to go there. Here is the new map. Unfortunately, when you're all the way zoomed out, the text on the new map is basically unreadable. But anyway, I've lined it up so that it's pretty closely aligned, and it looks like it is the part that lines up anyway is the same as the old map. So we have Kuntz Street here and Alcamilla Hospital. As you can see, Kuntz Street is just right below it. Alcamilla Hospital also in the same sort of area. And these four roads here also match up with the roads on the old map. They even have the same names. Not that you can read them, but trust me, I checked. Yeah, the only major difference seems to be that this actually includes a significant part of Silent Hill that we were never able to visit in the original. So, the original map, as you can see, it pretty much ends at Alcamilla Hospital. Around Kuntz Street, you can't go any more south. But, in the new map, Kuntz Street is actually, like, the top of the map, and you can keep going down to these places we've never been before. Midway, something, Toluca Avenue. Yeah. So it includes a little bit of a familiar place that we've already been to, which seems to be the same as the old Silent Hill, and then a bunch of new stuff. It's really strange to me to be playing a Silent Hill game in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, aka widescreen, because all the four previous ones that I played were all 4x3. It's just strange. I can now look to the side. <laughs> oh, I love that fog effect. I love the physicality to the fog, just like they had in Silent Hill 3. Which was missing from the original Silent Hill, probably because of technical limitations. I imagine that would be extremely hard on the original PlayStation, which already struggled with how complex the graphics were in the first one. Oh, the fog moves in directions, too. It doesn't just go one way. It blows around. What is that walking sound? I'm sorry, that is a ridiculous walking sound. Okay, this sound is good. That's a good walking sound, that's good fully. But what is this? I'm on concrete. That's maybe what an ogre would sound like? Maybe? Damn, Travis, you got some heavy footfalls. Well, let's explore the town. I'm really curious. Like, I just, you know, I want to see my old, uh, my old childhood stomping grounds. <laughs> Back when I played Silent Hill 1 a little while ago. I want to see what's different, what's the same. Now things are higher quality, so I can, like, read all these signs. I can see that the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Sounds like somebody's playing music. Oh, that's actually towards Alcamilla Hospital. 
Well, hold on then. I don't want to go there first. Fire escape is concealed off. Oh, bad noises down this alleyway. Okay. Oh, health drink. Sweet. So it is worth it to explore around. Maybe I should do that now before enemies maybe appear. Well, this is recognizable. It seems like they went for a very classical design. Classical? Is that the right term? I feel like I'm talking about classical music or something. But they went for the old design of Silent Hill. Like, it's very similar in design to the other Silent Hills. The controls are even very similar. The, the camera, kind of, the way the camera behaves is pretty similar. The map system is similar. So, it seems like Climax, for their first foray into Silent Hill, they follow the formula pretty closely, and then they completely d diverged from it when they did Shattered Memories. So interesting to see Silent Hill again. Things looking really different. Because honestly... Ooh, another health drink. Sweet. Honestly, I haven't gotten to re-explore the old Silent Hill that I recognized from the original game with uh, with PS2 era graphics. I mean, I know we visited Silent Hill in Silent Hill 3, but everything was extremely fogged over. You could barely see anything. And and you didn't really have to spend much time in Silent Hill at all. I feel like this game's going to be more in the town. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Is this the ambulance that brought her in? I don't know what that noise is. I'm not sure if it's music. Hospital map. Yep, that looks familiar. I wish the text was readable when you're zoomed out all the way. That's a shame. You can zoom in really far, but I'd like not to have to for most things. Anyway, yeah. Exact same layout as before. Public notice under construction. Currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide to you, our value patient, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips. Chairman of Alcamilla Board. I wonder if Kaufman, Michael Kaufman, was in the picture at this point. They were the director of the Alcamilla Hospital Institute something. They were the prick that Lisa dragged down to hell at the end of the original Silent Hill. Hmm. Yeah, you can do similar camera. Whoa. Is that our save point? You can do similar um, camera control where if you press a button, it kind of tries to orient you behind the character in case you want to like really see something. You do it with a different button though, the left, left bumper. Whoa, yeah. 
Yeah, the default is cancel. That symbol reminds me of the Floros. I don't think the Floros had an eye on it or anything. Maybe it did. It's been a while since I've seen it. But just the fact that it's a triangle, plus we saw the Floros used in the loading screens as like the currently loading little icon. God, those heavy footfalls. My God, Travis. What's really odd is that I can't turn on my flashlight. Not that it's super dark, but it's dark enough. Can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. Don't want to leave too much unexplored. Gotta try the bathrooms, right? And there's the stairwell. Yeah, so I hmm, need a key to get into the exam room over here. And I just can't get in through the medicine room. Get in the stairwell. Okay. The controls are camera relative, by the way. More in vain of Silent Hill 4. Although there's quite a bit more delay between changing directions than in Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill 4, it's pretty much instant. If you point to go in a certain direction, you go that way. But this one, there's like a little bit of lag time while the character kind of turns. So it feels a little less snappy, but definitely much better than tank controls. Don't have any change. Who would I call anyway? <laughs> that's a that's an awkward image of my fist. It's the only items I got, just my fists. Wait, what about my health drinks, though? Like, how do I even access my health drinks? Oh, hey. I can punch. I didn't even know that. I'll figure out the controls. It's fine. What is this music? Notice about a recent fundraising event. You a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. This music is so strange. I don't think it fits with Silent Hill at all. A dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? Oh, that's such a strange pointer. It, like, starts really slow and then it gets faster. It's like... Whoop, whoop. Basement? 
Doesn't work. Thank God. Follow them up to floor two. Oh, now I can use my flashlight. It's going to be a little bit tough for me to get used to the controls. They're not majorly different. Like, you can do basically the same things that you could do in any other of the original Silent Hill games, but it's just the controls to do them are a little bit different. Like, instead of the right trigger to ready your weapon, in this case my fists, instead of that, it's the right bumper. And the resetting your view thing, too, is different. Yes. You okay? So is this the first Silent Hill game to have sexy nurses? Sorta? Hmm. Well, it started a very bad trend. Now that's music that feels more appropriate. Ugh. Hmm. Mirrors aren't good in Silent Hill. Preliminary diagnosis, third degree burns, patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? Gurney is stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. Medicine cabinet, full of drugs I don't recognize. There's something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. Yeah, the gurney's different, right? And then there's also, like, a bed thing against the wall back here? Hmm. I messed around some more with the mirror, trying to see if I could, like, spot anything out of place that I could interact with or something. I don't see anything, but it's marked on the map, so it must be important. Maybe I'll try to go to the third floor in the elevator, though. Maybe I need to come back here with some... Oh. I'm seeing things. This ain't right. So, that's how we go to the other world then. Scalpel? Is that a weapon? Yeah. I mean, it's probably not as good as a hammer, right? It, I mean, it's fast, but the range is terrible. Huh. 
Yeah, so you do have quick attacks and strong attacks, just like the original Silent Hills. When the screen starts shaking and also my controller starts shaking, that's when I've charged up the strong attack, like right there. Another health drink. I still don't know where these health drinks are. Like, I can switch between my weapons. Hmm. What does the green and the orange plus mean? My hands are green. These two are orange. Is that like item condition or something?